All right, so this is the official start of the podcast. And uh, I just was like, fuck it. I was just like, you know, I like watching podcasts and shit. Um, they're entertaining. We're going to talk about some hot shit. What's good, Dev B? Questions, topics. And if, you know, if people want to send, if people want to send shit, I'm going to put my email too. Because we could do, we could do mixes. um, We could listen to songs. Spell my email right on here. So basically what's going on is I got the camera recording. Um, not this camera. I got an actual camera recording. And uh, we on live on IG. And that's just so people can interact like immediately. You know, like people going to listen to the podcast whenever they listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Through the week or, you know, maybe later, maybe years later, whatever. Um, but the IG live is so that I could kind of recreate the ideas of like having callers or like hotline shit. Like, yes, podcast vibes is going down. Question on topics. I got it too. And after I finish posting this, if anybody has anything they want to talk about. Or shit they want to send in. Songs, beats, mixes, you know, whatever. I low-key am... Oh, come on. Okay, I had poor connection for a second. I low-key am curious to... uh, I, w- I would like some people to to talk about this voting shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like I feel like we definitely got to vote. You know what really made me feel like? I right, hold on. Let me go ahead and vote Trump. And you know, to be honest with you, like people would talk about like, oh, you know, Trump is racist, this and that. And, uh, you know, he's a womanizer. And then the the pedophile thing came out where they were showing this picture. Like, it was like four pictures of him with like a little girl. And then I found out the little girl was his daughter. And then I'm like, you know, Trump reminds me of like one of my cousins or one of my uncles or something, obviously on my white side. And not even to say that they're not racist or what or prejudiced or whatever, but they just gave me that vibe of like somebody that was just thorough, like that just didn't lie. That wasn't on no bullshit. I feel like a lot of politicians, um, a lot of politicians just be on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like they just be saying what people want to hear, saying the shit, you know, that they have to say because they got paid, uh, to even be able to run. So having Trump, somebody who, you know, I don't, I I mean, I guess they say he was a billionaire, but then I heard some shit, you know, talking about billionaires don't consider him a billionaire or I don't know, but I just knew that he made a lot of money. So I was excited for the idea of somebody that, um, didn't owe their presidency or their campaign to partners. Um, and still, I think being a president is such a high, is such a high level, like achievement. Hey, what up? It's such a high level of achievement. It's like, you're going to have to play, you know, you're going to have to play the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to take bribes. You're going to have to take money in order to get in office. So I say all that to say that, you know. With Trump actually being a businessman and a millionaire, 
or a billionaire or whatever he is. I was like, okay, cool. Somebody can get in office and be thorough. And what did we get? We got a thorough ass, most likely racist nigga. Like in the debate when I was getting kind of hyped because he was like, uh, when they was like, oh, we'll disown um, the racist or whatever. And he was like, okay, okay, what do you want me to call him? And I'm like, all right, bet. Like, the the, the mediator is going to say whatever term he wants to say, neo-Nazi, uh, you know, Antifa, whatever. And I was like, Trump going to say that shit back and be like, fuck them niggas. And this nigga was, did not do that. I can't even remember what he said, but he did not disown shit. That nigga just skipped and went to the next topic. And I was like, okay. Now we know for sure that he's a racist. And, I mean, just to play devil's advocate, he still might not even be a racist. It might just be that those people and and the people that think like that have this amount of money that other candidates stay away from because they, you know, there are stipulations. Like, for example, him calling them out. Um, in the debate, like niggas with money, like they'll pull their bread. Like as soon as you step out, oh, so you want to stand out against us racists? Well, now you're not getting a racist support. So listen, man, I don't know. A lot of people do a lot of, everybody got their own fucked up shit that they do and that they're a part of. I don't care who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like my family, for example, is hella Christian, and, you know, I kind of grew up like, oh, you know, you know, follow the Lord, follow the Bible, da, 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 and it's like, everybody's fucked up, everybody has some type of shit with them, some type of jealousy, something that, and honestly, like, I don't even put it so much as such a bad thing, because it low-key drives you, like, if you don't have that bad i'm gonna get it by any means in you in which you're kind of willing to do people a little dirty like you're probably not going to get far and and that's in anything that could be in a conversation it doesn't even have to be uh in career that could just be you know you having an argument with somebody and in order to make your point you you know you take that extra step you go that you take that extra jab that it's like somebody who maybe don't care that much or is scared of people not liking them or don't want to cross no lines, they won't do that and they lose. And I feel like that goes along with nice guys finish last. I feel like that is what people are really referring to when they say nice guys finish last. It's like, if you have a desire for something, you want to, you want to do something, you want to be something, Not to say that, like, you need to step on toes, but you have you have to be a juggernaut like you have to be unstoppable and in certain times and people pick and choose when they want to turn up like people have their own levels of tolerance for respect and, you know, what they're willing to take before they like, all right, hold on, nigga. Now I'm disrespected now. And. You know, like they say in life, it's like you'll get, like I read in a book or something like that, or I heard a speaker say, like, you will live, you will always live above or right at, like, your necessities. So, like, whatever you consider to be, like, the bottom line of, like, your happiness and and, and that's what everything, relationships, like, money, everything. And so you know, you will always get whatever that bottom line is of like what you demand in life. And, um, you know, some people have a higher, not some people, everybody has a different bottom line. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a different bottom line that they're okay with. And that leads to wherever you at. You know what I'm saying? Like for me personally, I'm calling this, uh, this podcast, this series is going to be called, um, Mid-Hero's Journey. 
and the concept is, you know, Hero's Journey, I, I'm pretty sure is more of like an American uh, concept as far as writing. Um, you, although I do kind of feel like it's similar to like like the Greeks, like um, like the Odyssey, or I forget what they call it, but it's basically this idea. And if you watch a lot of movies, like you'll notice in the beginning they show that the person is a fuck up. You know what I'm saying? All the things that they've done wrong, all the issues that they have. It, it lets you in so you understand who the character is and you'll find ways to relate because they'll seem very human in the beginning. It's like you'll understand, you know, everything that happened to them, everything that, that they went through. Um, the fucked up part about this is, is this whole time I wasn't recording. So that's trash. Cause I I don't know how long I've been talking now and nigga never hit record on the goddamn system. So I just been hearing myself, but not recording. But anyway, it's all good. It's the first one. Um where was I at? So yeah, so in the beginning of the the concept of a hero's journey, um, you know, the guy seems human, you relate to him, shows all the fuck ups, da da da. And then they're, you know, I'm definitely like generalizing and briefing it. But then after that point, they get to a point where it's like more so all about the grind. It's like their turn up. You start to see them finding different successes and you start to root for them. It seems like they're getting their life on track, da da da. And then Eventually, at the end of the movie, they're the hero, you know, they defeat whatever the, the villain was or whatever. And so this podcast for me is me actually recording and showing what I feel like is the middle of my own hero's journey. Um, like I listened to Joe Rogan. Um, specifically who he has like a clip on YouTube if you guys have ever heard it where it, it, it it's like a motivational clip that I think they just took from like him just talking and he was saying like you know imagine your life is a movie and you know right now you can be in that turnaround moment you can be in that moment where you turn everything around and you get to that middle part that I was talking about where you start to see their life come together, the hard work, the dedication, it's just everything, their energy, everything just seems to start going better for them. Um, so, you know, I feel like you could potentially be <laughs> not at that point. You could still be in the fuck up. The fuck up part. You could still be in the beginning of, you know, the hero's journey and still be in the fucked up part. And I could too, but I'm just like, nah, I'd rather embrace it as I'm in the middle. I'm in a part where, you know, you put work in, you have been putting work in, you're starting to see results in different areas in your life. And you come out on the other side as the hero. But honestly, I I don't even feel like that exists. I feel like if you talk to anybody that is successful and anybody that you would picture as like a hero or a hero for you, they would tell you that it all it it's going to keep going. You're always going to feel like you're in the middle of this hero's journey. It's not uh there's not like a oh happy day you know, you slain the fucking three-headed dragon and now you're done. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be new issues every day. You still got to get up every day and work and take care of yourself. And if you don't, you're going to feel fucked up. You're not going to feel good if you don't keep... I don't even want to call it the fight. I mean, because you have to have fight in you. But I feel like 
one of the things that is not necessarily necessary is to look at it so combatively. You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you're familiar with um a speaker and and this guy named Sad Guru, he talks about, you know, blissfulness and he talks about being happy and enjoying what's going on in your life and what you're working on and um your relationships and all this and that and it starts within yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to feel that way first and I feel like you feel that way by putting in the work. And the work is the things that you don't necessarily want to do. You're not always going to want to do them. You're you're going to feel like, oh, I don't feel like doing this. But if you have an end goal and your end goal should be you. Your end goal should be you looking a certain way, living a certain way, interacting a certain way. And so once you have a picture of what that is, what you then have to do is you have to figure out how to become that person. You know what I'm saying? So all the work that we're talking about is the different things that you need to do in order to become the person that ultimately at the end of the day, you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I think I seen a meme that was like, um, yeah, I can't remember exactly what it said, but it was something along the lines of like, you should be who you look up to most. And I was thinking about that for a minute, like, and it seems simple, but to me it kind of hit because I was like, damn, I I see different people, I I I know different people, and there's like pieces of different people that. I would want to take that I would want to be like or that I enjoy. And I wouldn't always translate it directly into what if I was that person? Like what would I be like if I had those things that these different people have that I respect and admire? And so I think that can be super key. So with all that being said, that is kind of the gist of my idea for the podcast. I feel like that's how it will come across, especially for me now, because I feel like that's where my mindset is. Um, So if I had to explain it, that's how I would explain it. But really, I'm trying to talk about any and everything on here. Like any questions people might have in general or for me, any topics that people want to talk about, shit that they going through, like also people can send me shit, um, which is why I pinned my email on the Instagram live um, so that it can be interactive. You know, it's like I could come on here every week and spend 30 minutes or an hour. I haven't decided how long, um, but I can come on here once a week and just talk and post. I can make the videos and post them and post a podcast. But I definitely want like a live thing going on where it's interactive and I'm talking about and I'm talking um, to people about shit that's currently going on um, and also getting other people's opinions like. People can jump on the live too. Like I'm screen recording, so like anybody who jumps on the live will also be on the podcast. Like, and I'll just picture and picture it. Like, have the podcast showing and then have my phone. When I'm gonna figure all that shit out, trust and believe. You know what I'm saying? But um, my camera just went off. Let's see. Can you ask your followers, can they help me out with pampers and wipes? Is that my... I mean, yeah, sure. If anybody could help. I mean, I could help. DM me. 
Um, my camera just died, so I'm about to get off of here. I appreciate everybody coming through listening. I'm going to keep it going. Um, I'm going to figure out what this one looks like. This is my first one, so I got to see how it goes. And, you know, I'm going to post on IG when I actually post the, the, the final product. Um, but, yeah, DM me. DM me about that. I got it.